To bring it back into its easier to drive state that it used to be, we have been sent this. Now, if you remember the um, the turbo noises video, um, I got sent something by a sponsor. I got sent the turbo by a sponsor, massive sponsor in the game. This and this same same thing, Mr. Kiss has sent me. A lovely. Well, let's get it out the box. You can't tell what it is anyway. You'll be able to tell off the name of the video. So. Like I say, you can probably tell off the name of the video what this is, and you can probably see what it is by now anyway, but it is some aero. If you look at the end of it, it's even like the shape of an aerofoil, so it should do something. Now I'm going to remove this protective film to see what it's like underneath. Set that off. Nice and lovingly. So I'm inadvertently impact tested to test its durability. I'm going to put it on there, like as far back as possible, something around there, and I'm just going to mark it with a marker pen. And I should probably measure this, but I'm not. I'm just going to do it back like a Jap's eye and just hold it in place and guess, and then mark it like something, something like that. And then we are left with four dots. I want the spoiler as far back as possible to have the most dramatic aerofoil effect envisionable. But we've got this sort of double skin bit on the roof. So to save myself that level of hassle, I'm gonna use these. And they're riv nuts. So what you do is you drill it, so it's the same size as that, and you use the tool. And I'll demonstrate now. I mean, you probably should pilot all this first or something, but... Yes. Now I'll do the same for the other three, as if by magic, like a magician. And then these will now fit something like that. But first we'll lovingly screw that onto there. And then we put it in like that. And then the clues in the name, it's called a riv nut, so it's like like a riveter. Which leaves us with one of them. So that is an M6 riv nut. So now when I do that for the other ones, which looks like that. And I mean I've put them where the marks was, if they're gonna line up the holes in the spoiler. Probably not. What I was going to do with this spoiler so it definitely sort of didn't come off, is I was going to use some Tigger seal. It says it's for professionals only. And um, being not a professional, I don't have, I, I can't find a mastic gun. So what I'm going to use instead is, I mean, it's not going to fall off with riv nuts on it anyway. Um, I'm going to use some sealant just to stop it leaking. I mean, it's got foam on it, but let's face it, these cars do not need any help to leak. And I've applied that with some love and affection. I need to put this on, right, whilst holding it lined up with one hand. Right, and then I need to get, yes, some of them, which fit in a much more convincing manner. So I'll just tighten all them up. And that's a spoiler, nearly there. Um, I need to set up the angle of attack with some professional wind tunnel testing, but I think it wants to be somewhere around there. And so now I've tightened these up and set it in the most prominent position for the best level of downforce uh, with the least amount of drag possible from my own experience of, of none. Um, I'm gonna put these on here. Yeah. And as we can see, we now have a spoiler fitted. So it's time to try it out, see if it actually works. And before I fitted the spoiler, what I did was, is I tested this car at 70 miles an hour, um, doing a drive past in, in a slow motion camera. And uh, the way I'm gonna measure this is, if, if we look at the rear suspension on the car on the before and after, we'll be able to see how much force the spoiler is now putting on the rear tire. And as you can clearly see, with the um, with the spoiler on, it is significantly lower at the back, which means that the spoiler is putting multiple kilograms of forces of downforce on, which is the only way to explain how that can possibly happen. And now when I put my foot down, it's just lovely and smooth. There's no none of the vibration.
situation I was getting before. So it seems like that was actually massively successful. And it looks sick as well. So, so I would say that that is a massive success. So I think that concludes this week's video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. Share it. Send it to your friends if you think anyone's stupid enough to enjoy a video like this. And uh, I'll see you next time.